so um, for example you wants to create some data as per this human heart heat uh, like option or human heart sorry sir for example you can just drag and drop this content to this search option what this will do Fine. it will search the data from the internet and will give you the content mm. as per that topic okay the images videos text everything will be here there is mm. a difference between the google search and our cloud search so in google if you search a uh, lot of advertisements will come lot of irrelevant content data will be there so you have to filter it out right but here what it will yes, do right, right. it will only give you the education related data and filtered data so the data is coming from the internet and only oh, but the difference is the mm -hmm. filtered data you will get for the education related only i can just but i think this data will come from your database yes or so direct internet no, no, no. It is coming from the internet, but via our server. So we have some algorithms running on the back end, which is uh, like blocking the irrelevant data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I understand. Now, uh, here you can see, like, I can write on the image as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in the video, so for example, you want this video, uh, like in the summarization form, what is teach uh, this video is talking about so i can just uh, let me just copy to the new page first okay so now i want uh, in the text <coughs> format whatever the person is teaching in this video i want that into a text format so i can just click on this bright ai and it will give me a summarize option so i can summarize the whole video in two three or five lines okay and then insert it. So basically, you don't need to watch the full video. It will give you a summarization of that video in the two within a seconds. So that teacher can also explain on top it on on top of it uh, in the classroom as well. Then we have uh, this generate quiz option inside the video as well. So as per the uh, like content of the video, it will give you a questions. Directly, without any typing or anything else. Nothing. On the basis of on the basis of the content which is available on the video. Yes. Great. Okay. So you can add all the questions in a page, or you, if you you can see here which question you want to add. So for example, I copy paste will be there. Question. Yes, yes. We have this insert option. You can just click on insert. It will get added on the back end. Or you want to add in a new page. You don't want to add here. You can click on the new page mm -hmm. and then insert. Okay, the question will be here. Right? Uh, now, how do you zoom that one? So, two fingers. Okay, and large and expand and Here we have this uh, uh, option also. From here also, you can increase. Okay. okay. Next thing we have here, so for example, this is your text and you want the dictation. So you want uh, this text can read. So we here we have this speaker option. So the whole content, the line by line, our panel will read for you. Video introduces the human heart as a special muscle that pumps blood throughout the body. It explains the structure of the heart, including its chambers and valves and how it functions to circulate oxygenated blood. The importance of taking care of the heart. Right, so it is dictating your content, what is there on, uh, what was there on the video, right? The same thing, you can record it as well. So here we have this screen recorder, so it will record your whole screen. Now, the uh, next part is, for example, you want uh, to uh, like uh, take an answer from the student. The students are sitting in the classroom. They can raise their hand. They can give the answers, right? But what about uh, this grading part and all? How you will grade them? Or if you if mm -hmm. you are uh, like doing a uh, like you just started your surprise test or a surprise okay. quiz. Okay. So okay. here we have this option of live quiz. So it will give you an option. Uh, like student can scan this QR code and give the answers from. Give the answers from your, their uh, like premise. So, for example, 
uh, some students are joining you from the remote side, right? The online session. Okay. So here we have this multiple choice question answer poll. So it is asking what type of questions you are giving, number of options mm -hmm. you have, and then create. Mm -hmm. So when you click on create, it will give you a QR. Don't need to download anything. Just scan this mm -hmm. QR code from sitting anywhere in the globe. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or you are giving as a homework. For example, you are giving mm -hmm. as a homework and you want the data online uh, to get received. So you can just share mm -hmm. this link and this code. So students are sitting anywhere in the like country or outside country also. Well, they can just got scan. It, got it. Okay, so will it, we system. work with mobile also when we yes, yes, scan yes. it with the Android mobile? Right now I'm using my mobile only to scan it. Okay, okay, okay. So I just scanned this. Here it will ask you to enter your name and contact number. Just continue. It will give you the options. Mm -hmm. Just select the answer and submit. So once you submit, it will give you a submission here. So number okay. of percentage students are selecting the answer. Now, in the percentage, you will not be able to identify like which student is giving what answer, right? So here we have this mm -hmm. export as a PDF option. Just click on this export as a PDF. It will download your whole data with the questions and the student's answer with the name, contact detail and what answer they are choosing. So here it got saved in the panel itself. And uh, I can just so what go maybe Only PDF or Excel may be also there because if we need to create a database. That should be, should be with the only Excel or Access, Microsoft so, Excel or Microsoft Excel. So by default, the data is getting downloaded in the form of PDF, but the PDF format it has in the Excel way. Like the, just like you are converting your Excel into a PDF, it got in the rows and mm -hmm. columns and all, right? The same mm -hmm. way you will get the data here and here. So in this, you go on the downloads. Downloads. Okay. On the bright class, this is the quiz option. So inside that, we will be having this file 17, right? So this is the file I downloaded now. I can just open okay. it. No PC, no PC or laptop is required for this one. Only the no, nothing is sufficient to do all. Not, nothing is required additionally to be connected. You can see right now I've not connected anything. I'm running everything on Android itself on the panel. Yes, yes. So you can see the question is here and okay. the downside, uh, the lesson name in which lesson you conducted the uh, like uh, quiz date and the type of that particular question paper and the number of uh, like mm -hmm. students are giving the answer, name, contact detail and the answer what they have chosen. Right? So everything will be here. Now oh, I can go back to my screen again. I can reset this. One more thing I want to ask you because I later I will forget. Will there be mind map option there? Mind map. Mind map option like uh, you want to create some uh, blocks and all and then you want to do that, right? So you can do it outside yes 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 canvas also so the, yes we have that feature i'll show you that as well okay. now okay. the next part i'll just move here we have some this smart draws if you are writing or drawing anything with your free handshape mm -hmm. it will get converted into actual form plus we have this with the dimensions you can draw it for the math session mm -hmm. then we have this option called import media wirelessly so, for example, the teachers are having their some content, image, video, or some mm -hmm. additional data they have in their phone or in the laptop. They wants to upload. Mm -hmm. There is a two option. One is you can carry your pen drive all the so, time, connect with the panel, go on the mm -hmm. file manager and upload it. Mm -hmm. Another way, if you have some mm -hmm. data in your mobile phone, so what you can do, you can just mm -hmm. scan this QR. Okay. From anywhere, like I'm not saying you have to be in the room with the panel. So, for example, you are from Rajasthan, mm -hmm. you are connected. So, from Rajasthan also, if you want mm -hmm. to scan and wants to upload some data, you can do that. So, we have uh, the upload option will come. We'll go on the. But for that, we have to share the uh, share this uh, QR code. You don't need to share even. You can just. If someone is. Uh, is no, no, please listen to me. 
uh, if I need to open my data on my mobile and I am out of station, so the other person will need to share this uh, uh, QR code to me and then I can scan and then I'll, my mobile will be accessible or not. Are you getting my point or not? Understood. So for you don't need to share the QR code again and again. What you can do, you can give this link and code also. Okay. You can give Five. this link and code or you can share the QR code as well. Both the options are there. So I'll just, mm -hmm. uh, I'm just uploading one image. Okay. So it is getting uploaded. So you can see image received from the device. See, there, there is I can just increase the file size and I can do this. It's not limiting to image. You can upload videos. You can upload mm -hmm. on any documents, right? Everything like mm -hmm. you can annotate and write on top of it. Okay. Then uh, you have this. Okay, I'll show you this later. So, for example, you want to highlight some part on it, only the that particular area. So you can use this as a spotlight feature. Then we have this curtain feature. If you want to explain line by line the things, you can use that. Or if you are like uh, giving some question to a student and asking to give the answer in next 10 seconds or 15 seconds. So you can use this stopwatch in front of them. So they don't need to uh, like depend on the uh, like their mobile phone timing or watch timing. Or te teachers mm -hmm. also don't need to open this phone again and again to watch the timing, right? Mm -hmm. Then inside that we have this web browser as well. So there you will get two different web browsers, one outside the whiteboard and one inside the whiteboard. So for example, you want to search something from the internet or you have some data on the drive, like Google Drive and all. So you can just directly open your web browser inside the canvas and you can search it. Okay. Then uh, your calculator is also available, like unit converter, scientific calculator, everything is there. You can utilize that too for the maths classrooms. Then we have this laser option. So we will give you one remote with the panel. So for example, teacher is standing backside of the class and they want to highlight mm -hmm. something from there. So you can use this uh, laser option to highlight that in the particular area. Okay. okay. Then we have this PHET. What this PHET do? It is giving you a interactive simulations, like live experiment type of things. You can uh, show your student inside the classroom itself. Don't need to wait for a lab period. So, for example, teacher is explaining about some chemical things and all, right? And they mm -hmm. wants to show uh, how the color will come, what will be the pH value, what will be the concentration level of it, moles, how they are interacting, what bond they are creating. Right, so that, that type of experiments you can do inside the lab only, right? Then teachers or students, they have to wait. But here we are providing this live, mm -hmm. uh, like interactive things. So you can add uh, this chemicals, what is this nickel chloride? So if I'm adding nickel chloride into a water and I'm increasing the water level from here, and I want to check what will be the concentration level of that particular solute. I can just drag and drop this uh, parameter on it. So it is giving me a concentration level of that particular solution. Okay. Now I want to write something on top or wants to share this thing with my students. I can just click on this camera option. It will take a screenshot of it and will paste on the back end. So it will get saved on the screen. And if you want to create such video for that one, so is it possible to uh, create a video also? Yes, you can create a video or you want some additional data. So here, if mm -hmm. you click on this three dots, it will redirect you to the website. So from there, you can fetch the data as well, like some different other things. Because if we we are like adding few data on it, if you want some additional, as per the uh, like grade level, tenth level uh, or twelfth classroom, so you can select the classroom wise as well. Okay, and now you can highlight the part here, and you can explain to the students. They will that one. Yeah. Uh, now here we have this 3D applications as well. So for example, you want you are a phys uh, bio teacher, okay, and you wants to show the skeleton of the person or some additional thing like flower, what how how the flowers are uh, there, what are the components are there on it, right? Or physics teacher or solar system, you wants to show periodic table, right? So likewise, you will get some 3D tools here. So maths also available. So for example, I want to teach about the DNA. Okay. 
So here I'll just click on the DNA mm -hmm. option. It is giving me a 3D uh, shape of that DNA. Okay. Now I want to uh, like for example so All I the tools are inbuilt. All yes, yes, yes. All, all the, the tools, tools are, are inbuilt. inbuilt or we have to download that one or and install that one. No, no, no. All the tools are inbuilt. And whenever we are updating from the backend, you don't need to update it even. It will automatically get updated on the backend. Okay, fine. It needs okay. it need to connect it with the nets only. Uh, yes, yes, yes. You have to connect with the net only. That's it. Now, for example, you want to write something on top. We have this pen icon on the backend. So you can use and you can highlight this uh, particular area on the 3D shapes as well. Now you want to again uh, like rotate it. So we have, we have the rotate option, move option, zoom option. So everything like you can do it from here directly. Right. <laughs> And suppose this picture is here. If I pasted some picture there and I need to search it on the web, mm -hmm. so is it possible to do that one just like a Google search or lens? Uh, uh, Google lens is there in Google platform. Yeah. So what so if I paste some picture? Mm -hmm. So inside that, see, this is the uh, application we are using here. So if you want something additionally on mm -hmm. top. So here we have this option. Mm -hmm. We can just directly click on these three dots. It will give you a shortcuts mm -hmm. of the application. So from here, you can just directly switch to that application. Fine. Okay. No, no, no. I'm asking. On top of and it, you, you have uh, pasted correct? this picture here. And <laughs> yeah, and I need to know uh, more details about this picture. So should this picture be scanned directly or we have to go to the search tool? No, no, no. So what you I can do? I'm not getting my, what I mean to say. I, I got your point. You want to search something related to this image from the internet. Exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah so exactly. you can do that only I'm saying. So shortcut we have. You have to open that option first. Right? Then only you will be able to do. Okay. Okay. So fine. That, fine. that is there. That is there. You can do that. Okay. Now I'll just go back again to the home screen, uh, the whiteboard part. So for small kids also, we have the active learning app. Uh, so this meeting will end in next five minutes. So you can join again with the same link. Okay. okay. Now we have this again uh, for small kids like for class first to fifth or LKG, UKG students. So active learning application you will get. So it is game-based learning. I'll just mute this. So here we are providing some game-based learning. So for example, two students are there and they you want to like their students can learn about the math thing, calculation things and all. So you can just give a exam uh, like game calculation based game. So they can just give the answer here and you can ask them play this so that they will get uh, uh, like marks on it, right? So whenever like they are we are selecting the wrong option. Uh, it will give them the ma uh, like uh, pop up. This is wrong option, right? You have to select the right option. So they will get to know, okay, uh, this is the right option and all. Okay. And on top, you can see here it is rather uh, time is also going on. So who will play fast? They will they will be a winner of that. Okay. <laughs> okay, Ms. Preeti, I think that, that is a fantastic uh, version, but uh, something I want to say. Yes. Actually, if you can reschedule for the next uh, version for after some time, because that will be over overlapping the knowledge in our brain. Okay. Our okay. brain has unlimited <laughs> limited, uh, capacity. Okay. Understood, <laughs> understood, understood. So, yeah. Okay. No, no, no issue. So, what will be your suitable time to reconduct the session of, after uh, one hour or tomorrow? Mm. No, no, continue with the next level. Till now, it is it has been clear to us, but 